This week, we are focusing on discrete random variables. Let's start with a definition. A discrete random variable is any outcome of a statistical experiment that takes on only integer values. An integer is a whole number, a number that cannot or does not contain decimals. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 are integers, not negative numbers, not decimals. Let's use an example of a statistical experiment. In fact, we'll use an example from this class. In a 16-week course, we have divided the course into four blocks, each of four weeks. Each four-week block ends with a unit test. Therefore, I could ask you, how many tests did you pass? The answer would be zero, one, two, three, or four, giving us a total of five potential outcomes. And this is true for every student in the course. By collecting data on all students in the course, we could then create a probability distribution using a bar chart. By examining this bar chart, we can see the most or least frequently occurring scores. We can also see the range of scores contained on the x-axis. Their relative frequency, or probability, would be contained on the y-axis. If I asked you to examine this bar chart and tell me what is the most frequently occurring score, you would answer by counting, and your count would be three. Four shall thou not count. Neither count thou two, unless thou then proceedest to three. Five is right out. What makes this a discrete probability distribution is that the potential outcomes are always and only integers. The answer for how many tests you passed can only be zero, one, two, three, or four. The outcome cannot be a score less than zero, or a negative number. The outcome cannot be a score more than four, or the maximum in that category. Every student must be in one category. You cannot have passed both two and four tests. And you cannot be in more than one category. Similarly, you cannot be between categories, passing 2.5 tests. A discrete random variable will always be integers. However, those integers may be finite or infinite. In a finite random variable, the discrete random variable takes on a finite or limited number of values. How many quarters did you play in the game? The answer has to be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 quarters. You cannot have fewer than 0 or more than 4. On the other hand, sometimes the answer could range, at least theoretically, to infinity. And this is called a infinite random variable. Infinite random variables take on an infinite sequence of values. How many units did you sell? Zero, one, two, three, which could theoretically go up to infinity. Let me illustrate finite versus infinite distributions. Finite distributions are always easier to see when we use examples that come from card playing, rolling of dice, or gambling. For instance, I ask you to pick a card, any card. I don't know which card you will pick, but I do know that it must be either red or black, or that it will be one of four suits. I cannot predict which card but I can tell you the range of suits or colors that are options. Or we flip a coin. The outcome will always be heads or tails. It can't be both. It can't be neither. In this case, it's heads. Or we roll a die or two. Any individual die will always have outcomes from one to six. We cannot have values less than one or greater than six for one die. These are all examples of finite, discrete, random variables. On the other hand, we can have infinite, discrete, random variables, such as 
You contact customers to try to make a sale. How many customers bought? Zero, one, two, three. It could be infinite. You administer a treatment to patients. How many patients survive? Zero, one, two, three. The number could be, theoretically, infinite. Always, however, a whole number. You cannot have 6.3 patients surviving. Or you coach a football team. What is your lifetime number of wins? It will be zero, one, two, three, four, theoretically up to infinity. However, always a whole number. Next, we're going to talk about probability distributions for discrete random variables.